It's good to have you back. Uh, let's continue with the bulletin by heading over to the Western region. The Ghana National Gas Company has completed 74.5 out of the 75 kilometer gas pipeline extension from its Isiama distribution station to Pristia. The chief executive of Ghana Gas, Dr. George Sipayanki, told Vasad One News that it's a strategic diversification of the gas infrastructure which could permit storage of some processed gas during emergencies. Chris A.J. Neem has the details from the Western region. Dr. Josie Panyanki was speaking as he led a tour of the ongoing 75-kilometer gas pipeline extension works from Esiama to Pristia. The pipeline, which cuts across Elembele, Nzema East and Pristia Hunibali districts, falls within the overall gas infrastructure plan to send natural gas at a cheap cost all the way to the north to power various industries. The senior construction manager of Ghana Gas, Emmanuel Kobinamusis, summarized the work done. What we are doing is we've tied in from here to, to Pristia. We've done about 74.5 kilometers out of the 75. Okay, what is left to be done, honestly, is from us moving from a section which is the 4.5, going into the military station, the, 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 the military station the 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 itself. But everywhere from here, which is the starting point you see from here, straight down to Pristia, 74.5 kilometers is done. It's about, if it's done, it means that we've, we've done the world test. We've done the coating, we've buried the pipe and backfilled. The Ghana Gas CEO, Dr. Sipanyanki, who was impressed with the progress of work, said the pipeline extension is strategic. The lateral pipeline from uh, ACMA to Prisia is very strategic. Uh, as I speak to you right now, all the generating facilities we have in the country are on the coast. They are in the south, Takradi, Tama, and so on and so forth. It's important that we spread our generating facilities so in the event of a disaster, the earthquake in Accra Tama area or Takradi area, where all the facilities will be destroyed, we do not want to get the country buried in darkness. So if able to spread the generating facilities to the north, then we can get power from Kumasi, from Prisia, from Tamale, and so on and so forth. And this pipeline, though currently is going to terminate at, at Prisia, at Prisia, but there is, there, there is a plan to extend it further to Kumasi and to the north, so that once we get more gas, we should be able to send gas to the northern part of the country for IPPs to be able to get power and supply those areas. For now, the 75-kilometer gas pipeline extension from Esiama in the Elabla district to Pristia is almost completed, according to the Ghana Gas Company. But such a facility also comes with the issue of land compensation and crop compensation, as well as security. But what plans does the Ghana Gas Company has in place for these two issues? For crops compensation, we've almost paid everything. Uh, for the land compensation, we are still waiting on the land valuation board to finalize uh, the determination of the titles to all those lands. The money is there, it's ready to pay all those uh, whose lands have been acquired uh, by government for the project. You know, we have two major uh, strategies to protect our uh, facilities. One, as you know, this is going to be buried, so nobody can come and dig and, you know. And two, we are involving the communities along the pipeline as part and parcel of the, of the team to sort of uh, maintain, protect, and clean the, the, the right of way. From the Western region, I am Kwesi Aj Enim, Vasatwa News. So the gentleman you saw in that picture